Hello there, Happy New Year, have a fantastic 2017 everybody, I hope it's all going to be brilliant for you. Um, and yeah, there we go, Christmas is done again for another year, it's now, I can't believe 2017, this beer I purchased for 69 pence at b and and that was in 2016, summer of 2016, now it shows you how long it's taken me to get around to do some of these beer reviews, it's been in my cupboard for God knows how long. So I hope everybody had a fantastic Christmas. Happy New Year, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. There's no, there's no songs, is this for New Year? It's like after Christmas, there's all these lovely festive songs and everyone's in the spirit and everything, but then after Christmas, it's like, you know, no lights, no decorations, everything comes down. You know, there needs to be at least a song or something that we can sing in New Year to get us up and going again, you know, because it, it takes a long time. January may as well not exist, had it, you know, because we're all moping around and we're hoping that, um, you know, life's going to get better. And it takes till probably about March time before things do get better. Uh, but anyway, this is um, yeah, this is Iron Maiden. So yeah, all those beer reviewers out there, I hope you're having a fantastic time. I hope you had a really good Christmas. All of my viewers, I hope you have as well. Um, so I've tried to get this one on New Year's Day. I don't know if it'll get to your New Year's Day. I'm reviewing it on New Year's Day. So there we go. What I've noticed about this one, it's got its own unique cap. So if you look, I don't think the other... Um, I don't know if this is a limited edition version or something, but I don't think the other troopers had that cap on it. But anyway, it's only 3.30, but at 69p, I think it's still uh, worth it for the price. It usually comes in a 500ml bottle. So I'm looking forward to this one very much. So I've got a new glass, courtesy of my parents. Thank you very much. A lovely leffy glass to wet, uh, nice bowl to uh, pour my beer into. So here we go. Du -du -du. And we're getting English hops on there. Um, not a right lot actually. Just maybe slightly for all not. I mean, it might be off the beer now. I don't know. Um, I don't know what the sell by is in, but usually when they're at B and M, they're past the sell by date. Aren't they? Give that a little swish. Yeah, so I'm getting um, it's a, mal a maltiness to it, so like a, a malty, um, slightly, slight toffiness to it. But I am getting like English hops piercing through it as well, so I'm getting like uh, maybe um, a first gold hop. A goldings, I think, is coming through there. Possibly fuggles. Uh, it's got a bit of a hedgerow smell to it, that is for sure. Smells very inviting beer, it smells like a really decent English bitter. Um, yeah, here we go, dive in. I know I've said this already, but cheers to the new year. Let's hope this one's going to be a good one. Mm. That's actually lovely. That's mm. it. say actually, I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be bad. Um, yeah, it's a sessionable beer. Um, slightly biscuit, your standard flavours, but it's got a little bit of an overriding hoppiness to it. Um, slightly citrusy on the note, slight bittering on the tongue. Um, nothing to ride home about, you know. So if you're looking, for, uh, most people are, I would have thought that review beer will have drunk this, but for those people that are new to beer, try it. If you're on, on lagers and stuff, try this. Go to it. Something a little bit different. Scott, it's definitely full of look. It's full of flavor. It, well, it's not full of flavor on on the grand scheme of things, but it's got lots of flavor if you look for it. You know, it's pleasant and it's sessionable. Um, yeah, it's a balance of hops and and, and maltiness. Really, this is quite a It's quite typical of a Robinson's beer. Robinson's a little bit like the way it's a really good. At, creating these session beers that you can just make. You've got that lovely balance of hops, but they're not too hop and dry and too bitter, with malts, you know, but the malts again aren't too, uh, you know, you don't get, you don't generally get really right roasty notes or anything like that, they're just lovely and delicately balanced, and, and they make for really good session beers, and if I ever said to anybody who's on lager, you want to try, if you want to try a beer, I'd, I'd probably I'd put in direction of Thwaites, like Wainwright, perfect beer, or something like Trooper, like the Robinsons, like even their uh, Blonde Bombshell, or whatever it's called, um, that sort of thing, you know, 
they're all brewed in uh, around Manchester as well. This one's Stockport, and uh, Thwaites is uh, going out towards Blackburn, I think. So that sort of area, you know, Lancashire. Across the Pennines. So yeah, anyway, but good. Yeah, listen, let, let's uh, let's scores on that. I don't think it says anything about hops on here. I'm not going to read what it says. It, it talks about uh, the charge of the Light Brigade, which is all to do with the, the Iron Maiden and all. I think Bruce Dickinson's got to say on this because that's what the Trooper song's about. So that comes into the beer. Um, yeah, read that if you're interested. I'm not going to read. I'm not going to bore you about that though. No, it's, it's not really relevant to the beer itself. 4.7% perfect session beer. Would I buy it again at 6.9p? Definitely. Uh, the 500. Uh, mill bottle, I'd buy that for 150 a bottle. You know, it's standard price. I'd, I'd, I'd pay that for it. It's a decent beer. <coughs> yeah, it doesn't say anything about hops. Oh wait a minute. Oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, Trooper is a premium British beer inspired by Iron Maiden and handcrafted by Robinson's Brewery. I didn't see this bit. Being a real ale enthusiast, vo vocalist Bruce Dickinson. What don't Bruce D Dickinson do? He's a pilot. He's a I mean, fen does fencing. He's a singer in one of the biggest metal bands in the world, you know. Has developed a beer, uh, which is a true, true depth of character. Malt flavours and citric notes, which we talked about earlier, from uh, a unique blend of Bobek Goldings uh, and Cascade Hops, uh, dominate this deep golden ale with subtle hint, with a subtle hint of lemon. Yeah. Not a lot of lemon in there for me. I won't say I, I did pick up on the citrus notes, but you do tend, tend to get a bit of a lemon note from the Cascade hop, that is for sure. I suppose now I know it's in there, I probably could find it a bit. But it's, it's a nice beer. Whether I can taste those hops or not, who cares? Listen, it's been great catching up with you guys again. Have a fantastic year this year. Hopefully, I'll be back soon. I'm going to try and update some more beer reviews. I feel like I've been letting people down a little bit this year. You see this. Pick it up, well worth it, good beer for anybody. If you're a lager drinker, going on to beers. If you're a beer drinker just like me, you know, that likes a decent beer, perfect. Okay, till next time.